Now, you mentioned the Commonwealth. So we had the heads of government this year. We had the games down in Australia. We have the flags all around us. Uh, let's get a bit of Commonwealth flavor now by inviting up to say just a few words, the chair of the Birmingham Commonwealth Association and president of the Greater Birmingham Commonwealth Chamber of Commerce, Keith Stokes-Smith. Keith, please come forward. Thank you very much. And give us some Commonwealth magic. Commonwealth magic I'm asked to deliver. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I could always sing, if that was a better alternative. No, 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 uh, Keith, but you don't, please, you please, heard my please, please, please don't, please don't. <laughs> or dance, I might be. Um, Lord Lieutenant uh, Marcia, Your Highnesses, uh, Lord Mayor of Birmingham, Mayor of the West Midlands, uh, High Commissioners and representatives of High Commissions and diplomats, representatives of the armed forces, dignitaries, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Birmingham. Welcome to the United Kingdom's second city, notwithstanding what Manchester might say. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> Let me, first of all, thank TPM Media, in association with the West Midlands Reserve Forces and Cadets, for this, the eighth anniversary Phoenix Gala Dinner and Awards presentation. Well done. Indeed, let me thank in particular Marcia McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of the Phoenix Newspaper, supported by Daniel Riley and their team for without their significant hard work, planning and determination, this event would not even happen. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> the Phoenix, like the Birmingham Commonwealth Association, represented here tonight on table 12, an association wisely established nearly five years ago by Birmingham City Council, has worked hard over the years to connect communities, engage with business and academia within Birmingham and beyond. Indeed, it is very clear to all of us that Birmingham is very much itself a commonwealth of nations with its shared values and aspirations including world peace and free trade. Free trade is so important to the prosperity of all of us, to the prosperity of our businesses and our communities, and indeed to our sister and brother Commonwealth nations, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Australia, Canada, to name a few. Indeed, as referred to earlier, the flags of all 53 nations are here tonight in front of you. In March this year, the Greater Birmingham Chamber of Commerce launched a new chamber, the first of its kind, as far as we know, in the UK, the Greater Birmingham Commonwealth Chamber of Commerce. They are also represented here tonight on table 12. I have to say how forward-thinking we are here in Birmingham. It's City Council, the Chamber, and indeed the Phoenix, to add value to the city by creating organizations with a strong empathy with the Commonwealth. And of course, the icing on the cake is 2022, when the Commonwealth Games come to the city. We are privileged to have with us tonight the Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands, Mr. John Crabtree, OBE, who has been appointed chairman of the 2022 Commonwealth Games Organising Board. And we wish him and his team, the Mayor of the West Midlands, Mr. Andy Street, CBE, Birmingham City Council and the Commonwealth Games Federation every success in their endeavours. They will no doubt be supported by many of us here tonight and the organisations and businesses we represent. This will be a Commonwealth Games like no other. This will be a Commonwealth Games with a lasting legacy like no other. This will be our moment to inspire, to motivate and shine, will it not? Tonight, as referred to earlier, also recognizes the contribution of our armed forces 
in this significant year than centenary of World War I and of the creation of the Royal Air Force. It is also the 70th anniversary of the creation of our National Health Service. The BCA and the Greater Birmingham Commonwealth Chamber of Commerce and indeed the Diplomatic Corps in Birmingham would like to recognize not only those from the UK who fought, were injured or sadly lost their lives in the First World War, but those who served on the home front and those from our brother and sister Commonwealth nations who fought and served alongside us in this and indeed subsequent wars. Many West Indian servicemen and women and civilian war workers returned to settle in Britain after the Second World War, some of whom traveled over, as referred to earlier, to the UK on the ship Empire Windrush. Their contribution to our country and our Commonwealth values cannot be overstated. Recognition must also be paid to our doctors and nurses who work tirelessly to look after our health and well-being. We thank them and those who have gone before them for all what they have done for us. The Birmingham Commonwealth Association and the Greater Birmingham, Wealth, Greater Birmingham Commonwealth Chamber of Commerce are very pleased to be able to support and join with others in this gala event, an event which demonstrates how collaboration, engagement and partnership across a shared path can not only bring about a better Birmingham, but a better Commonwealth. We congratulate those nominated for an award and the winners of tonight's award. You all deserve all the recognition you get and more. Let us remember, often in life, there is only so much we can do on our own. It, this is a time to support each other. And with the Phoenix, work together to build and connect communities across our city, the West Midlands, United Kingdom, and indeed, the Commonwealth. A few final words. We saw a clip earlier from the film, The Greatest Showman, with Keela Settle singing a great song, This Is Me. There is a line in that song which says, look out, cuz, here I come. I'm sorry for the word cuz, it should be because. But she says, cuz, here I come. Well, with the Commonwealth Games ahead of us, all I can say to the world from Birmingham, from us, look out, here we come. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Keith.